Well, day before I got to meet with Legacy, I get another obstacle here. You know, this is the one obstacle I never thought would happen. Out of everything I've gone through in this process, uh, I thought it would be with with the county not approving me or Legacy not wanting to do it, which that's fine. We're cleared on that. They're going to do it. And then, uh, you know, some other things. But uh, now she calls me and goes, well, it didn't dawn on me. The bank we're using, we're not connected with anymore. So she's having to check with the metal buildings division they have that does their metal buildings that their bank can do it and that's fine she goes your only option is a rent to own thing and i don't really want to go through that but i don't that's that costs more than the interest on a loan where either one i could pay off like a loan and pay it off early there's no penalties but it's just ridiculous you know and the thing is either way you know they i hope they know they god forbid they can't just come get that thing it's permanently foundation and it's going to become real estate I told her, I said, if that bank wants to, has to use my property as a lien, that's fine. When you get a loan or a mortgage, that's what that is. It's a lien on it. You got a mortgage on it. So, um, I'm supposed to go up there tomorrow to sit with her. It's kind of hoping we get all this stuff put through and done. Um, these are the things you got to look at and think about. You know, if, you, if it's long term, you're looking at doing something like a tiny home, you got to save some money, save some cash, as much as you can to get that stuff built. But, what you can to get that thing uh, brought in. I think uh, on my particular house, I'm looking at about 60K for everything. And uh, that's pretty much what you're looking at, you know? You could either, one, have all the funds saved up, which is not impossible. You could, you know, if you're stacking back 1,500, a couple of grand a month, two or three years, you could have that cash and get it done. Hire everybody you need to, to hire to get it done or do it yourself. But it's, uh, you know, I'm starting to think that it would probably be cheaper to have somebody come frame that on site. But the problem is that the money that stacks on that is the roofing, the windows, the doors, all that stuff at play in that. It, uh, I'm not a framer. I can't do that stuff. And trying to find framers that would do this, it... Like I said a while back, it was extremely tough right now because of the building and the construction boom in Charleston. It's $25 a square foot just for them to frame it, put sheathing on the outside and on the roof and everything. That doesn't include doors, windows, siding, roofing, everything that's being done with this particular house. It'd be the same size as what they're doing. And the problem is, is they're going to have to build engineered roofing truss because if I had to order more of those, you're talking about more money just to get trusts that were engineered just for that house. So it's, this is going to end up seamless in getting this done if we get these guys to get it and bring it down. The thing is, is getting through this part here. Like I said a while back ago, I'm expecting obstacles. This is one. Things you got to think through on how you're gonna go by doing this because number one, not every shed company is gonna do what these guys are doing. I don't think they are. They might, just depends. Um, they might, you know, there are some that do, they give you that option. I know on the Facebook groups, I hear some of them saying, yeah, they put us a two by 10 forward system on there and it's all good. That's great. Um, it's just, what company is doing really good materials and doing the right thing is going to do right by a building inspector. These guys are committed to doing that. They've got the plans. They're committed to getting all of that done like it's supposed to be. So uh, I'm just waiting on her to get back to me, see if she's found out because I got to go up there tomorrow anyway. We got to get this stuff. I got to get questions answered, stuff done. We got to get this ball rolling. I don't know where I'm going to go with this. I may have to go to my bank and sit down and say, listen, I need a, a credit line. This is what I need. And uh, I needed a hell of a lot less than a credit card because I want to get it paid off as quickly as possible within a few years. Um, if I have to do that, I'll just tell them, hey, you can put a lien on my land and we can go that route, you know, or something. Um, we'll see. Either way, we're going to get this done. I feel sure I would be a crush, a blow to the system, man, a very shock to the system if this somehow didn't go through. You know, 
Wednesday he's looking to put the water line on my property. So we're, we've got these contractors lined up. You know, so one way or the other, we're going to make it happen. And other than that, I'll keep you guys posted. I know my next video I said would be tomorrow at Legacy, and it will be. I just had a few things on my mind. This is just another hump in the road we'll get through. And that's the things you got to think about when you're doing this. It's, it's not a mortgage, so it's you got to dance around a few things like I'm doing to keep you out of a 30-year mortgage if you don't want to be in one. Some people don't care. Know, real estate matures, so they look at it as an investment regardless. I get it. But it's just easy, you know. Gets paid off quicker, much more efficiently. So anyway, I'm off, and I'll check in with you guys tomorrow. We can figure out what we're going to do here. Thanks.